Hello everyone and welcome back to a Paint by Numbers tips video about gesso. So in this video I'm actually going to tell you when gesso doesn't work. So I've been doing some more testing with gesso and if you're new to my channel or haven't watched my previous videos about gesso I recommend you watch them first because there I explain what is gesso and the results I've got with my previous canvas. First I have to apologize this is how far I was when I applied gesso to this canvas but unfortunately I don't I lost the recordings of me applying gesso to this paint by numbers so instead we'll continue um, the paint by numbers where I am now and I tell you about the experience um, of gesso and why actually I didn't notice any difference on this paint by numbers and therefore it does matter um, the surface that you have and if you should apply gesso or not which I haven't mentioned in the previous videos and I think it's really important so yeah that's why I'm making this video now as it's just important to tell the negative results versus the positive I didn't want to withhold this from you any longer okay so this canvas I started out without using gesso I thought I will test out if I notice a difference in the way I apply the paint and if I see any white spots whatsoever. But this canvas is very different from the previous one because it's more like plasticky like and you have the areas already like pre-colored. Um, so that's why I was like okay so it's different surface it's not the canvas that I had with from Victoria's Moon where I could really see in um, see the paint going to the canvas and see white spots um, so actually when I started painting I was like okay this looks nice no white spots it's nice coverage but the paint wasn't flowing very nicely on the canvas so I decided when I was what one fourth in <laughs> you saw the pictures at the beginning when I was doing this bird on the top that I would apply gesso to the rest of the painting um, hoping that it would help me distribute the paint nicer and um, I use less paint I have a more pleasant experience well as you can guess by now I wasn't quite like that um, for me the or for this paint by numbers the white were really hard to work with and it didn't really improve I didn't feel like there was a notice noticeable change on the way um, the paint was laying on the canvas I used um, one layer of gesso only and I didn't sand so I definitely when I go over with my hand I feel like the rough the surface is more rough um, which is what you want after gesso so that definitely worked it's just for me personally the biggest difference that I see with gesso is uh, in the previous paint by numbers where I don't see any white spots anymore and I think that really improves the painting and um, I like the look of it better but for me I don't notice a massive difference with the way the paint like I thought I did but with this uh, with this canvas I don't um, so I guess it's just preference so as you know I'm still finding my way on this paint by number journey and trying out different things so it happens does that mean that now I don't recommend using gesso no I still do recommend using gesso it just matters on which uh, surface you're working on so if you're working on a real canvas and not this plasticky one you you really benefit from using gesso 
I really noticed a big difference with half the painting, which you can see in my previous video. For this one, I did not notice that much of a difference. So, yeah, I think it matters on the surface you're using. So if you have this canvas where it's already pre-colored and it still looks a bit plasticky, the surface, then you have less benefit of using gesso. And equally, I also learned that if you're using an artboard, like the one from Schippers, then you shouldn't use gesso either, because actually it's treated in a way that uh, gesso shrinks it, or definitely don't do it. Um, which I haven't tried out myself, but some of you told me that. So thank you for sharing your experience with us and let's prevent anyone else in the, in the community that's watching these videos uh, to make those mistakes. Um, if you have any other tips of using gesso, uh, let me know down in the comments and we can all share and prevent disasters from happening or make our life easier and nicer bit using gesso. Um, as always the link in the description is for the gesso that I've used. Um, it's really nice, it's really cheap and if you order through my link I get a very small commission. It's less than a pound but still I really appreciate your support. So if you're thinking of buying gesso please check it out. <laughs> Um, and I hope you're all having a great uh, painting experience today. Thank you very much for watching. Next week it's Christmas, but I will still be uploading on Thursday and Sunday. So Thursday will be uh, Christmas Eve, but we're uploading at 4 p.m. UK time and then uh, Sunday Christmas will be over already so it actually works out perfectly and I hope you uh, will be there to celebrate uh, Christmas with me on Thursday. If you haven't subscribed please do I really appreciate it and yeah I make lots of paint by number videos and tips every week so I hope you find them useful and see you again on Thursday. Bye!